Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of, oh no, this is for July. Just kidding. Uh, July 2024. You have this Underworld card. It says, find unconventional ways to explore new sources of income. You have this Mistakes card. It says, mistakes will be made, but you'll learn from them. So yeah, if you're doing new things with your money, obviously you'll make mistakes, but that's okay. And uh, you show up right there as you, the first card, the Wheel of Fortune. So a lot of you are you know, showing up in a very strong position. Whenever you show up as like the major arcana version um, of yourself, it puts you in a position of power and strength, really allows you to get what you want from the reading. So I feel that. I also feel that you are doing things to increase your luck. Um, again, I've said it before, I'll say it again. You know, having Jupiter in your opposite sign uh, can be very lucky. And, you know, that doesn't mean things are going to magically happen for you. And also, what I would add to that is you're going to have to put yourself in situations where you can get lucky. So, you know, if you obviously, if you want to improve your luck, you're going to have to go do things outside of your house. Uh, yes, you're actually going to have to go out and get some fresh air if you want to increase your luck with the Wheel of Fortune. Again, we have to do things with the Wheel of Fortune. You know, the most important thing we can do is live at the center of the wheel right here. When we live at the center of the wheel, the wheel is always spinning around us and we can pay attention to what's happening in our life. So another way we can increase our, our luck is that when good things happen, we make sure to double down on those things and expand them. When bad things come into our lives, like challenges or mistakes or whatever, we either learn from them or we also take care of them very, very quickly. You know, most people, it's like most of the time I've been there, I've done it, so I'm not criticizing anyone here, but it's like you get a bill, you ignore it. And then what happens? It becomes worse, right? So most of the time, most problems are like bills. It's like if you don't take care of them or learn from it or do something about it, it's going to get worse. And a lot of us, and again, I'm super guilty of this myself, so I'm not criticizing you, um, but most of us ignore our problems. And th this is saying, you know, take care of your problems quickly as well. And if you do that, you will increase your luck. That's definitely what's going on here with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, you have the Hermit. The hermit can represent being in hermit mode or going through a dark night of the soul. It basically says you're going through a dark night of the soul and you've climbed to the top of a mountain and now you're shining your inner light. So I feel for a lot of you that you could be shining your inner light more uh, or you've just learned a lot of difficult lessons over the past few months and now you're coming out of this period of time. Again, this summer is really good, especially, you know, July forward, like July to September, really good energy. So I would take care, advantage of the energy. Again, don't stay in hermit mode. Uh, make sure you're going out, doing things, enjoying yourself, and you know, do what you can with what you got. Is what I feel like this is saying. Uh, you have the sun, and you know, the sun is definitely a very positive, happy card. So I feel there could be a lot more happiness and enjoyment coming in for you. I also, whenever the sun comes up in a personal reading like this, a you know, general reading for you, it really says to me that the sun is shining on you, Sagittarius. So you could be getting a lot more attention or, you know, you know, again, you could just feel like things are going a little bit more your way at this time, which is also great. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Two of Swords. Two of Swords like this or that thinking. And the Two of Swords also, um, normally she has like an island behind her on a traditional Two of Swords card. So the Two of Swords says if you can't figure something out, there's probably another way to do whatever you're trying to do. And the Two of Swords just wants us to kind of like stay flexible. And the Wheel of Fortune also wants us to be flexible. So I would do it, I, you know, I would make sure like your approach to any problem or challenge that you're dealing with, it just, I feel intuitively, I feel like it's just saying be flexible in how you approach things. Uh, with the Hermit, you have the Eight of Cups here. Yeah, you're clearly walking away from something. We go, we go over to the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is showing up in the area of the good stuff. So this could be a good thing. You know, the Ten of Swords and the good stuff would represent a blessing in disguise. This guy here, he's making a symbol with his hand right there. And it's the same symbol that the Hierophant is making on his card. And it just represents a blessing. So there could you walking away from something that no longer serves you uh, could be a blessing. Uh, with the sun, you have the Four Cups. I really like this Four Cups. Um, this is from the White Sage Tarot. And you, you can see those three cups are pouring into one cup on the card. So for a lot of you, you could be entering into a love situation with a person uh, who really pours into you. And we see love here. You have the Page of Cups right next to it. So you could be getting a love offer. We even have the Emperor right here. So you could be attracting like an Emperor or an Empress into your life. And, you know, what I would say is, you know, pay attention to the energy that this person gives. Uh, because chances are, if you're meeting a new person, 
they're probably going to give a lot more than a past person. And, you know, that should be a clue that this is going to go very well. The other thing I would say is that we go up to the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles, to me, is like the best love card in the tarot. The Ten of Pentacles represents pretty much everything that you want and desire in a connection. So, you know, again, if you want love, it looks pretty good. Uh, next, in the area of the unexpected, you have this pig spirit that says, use your mind wisely. You also have this rhino that says, overcome any obstacle. There's something here, I, I said that on the Wheel of Fortune, that there's something here about like taking care of an obstacle very quickly. You know, um, you know, not let, don't let something become worse than it already is. And I, I'm not saying that something necessarily like super bad is happening in your life. But again, if something pops up, I would do what you can with what you got. I would take care of it as quickly as you possibly can, whatever, what, you know, whatever the obstacle is. And I feel that you will overcome it very quickly. It's not even going to be that big of a deal. I feel like the faster you take care of it, you know, the faster you get out of your life, the more lucky, lucky that you're going to be this month. So again, use your mind wisely and really think about any obstacles that you are experiencing. Uh, you have the Queen of Wands, the Emperor, and the uh, Page of Cups. The Queen of Wands is about moving forward like boldly without necessarily knowing what to do. Uh, she has to go on a journey. She has to be bold and assertive, but she is the only Wands court card that doesn't have salamanders on her cloak. And it represents the fact that she is not protected by, from fire. You know, salamanders in the tarot represent protection from fire. And so she is basically not protected from risk. And she has to, you know, what it really represents is the fact that she has to learn as she goes. So she might want to be starting a new business or maybe you want to start a new project or whatever. And it basically says that now is a time where you are going to have to learn as you go. You are, you are going to have to figure things out as you move forward. And if you do that, you will be successful. But you have to be willing uh, to do that. She also follows the sun. She has the, this sunflower right here. So she moves towards her happiness or things that bring her joy, happiness, enlightenment, you know, all those good things. And so I feel like you have to move towards the sun. You have the emperor. I feel like the emperor is encouraging you to be bold, assertive, again, uh, and also encouraging you to take action. The emperor is ready to go at a moment's notice. He has this armor on underneath his cloak, and it just says that he's ready to go whenever, whenever he needs to. So I feel that for a lot of you, that the emperor is encouraging you to like take action towards something uh, new or different. And, you know, if you're, if you're coming up with any like new plans or new directions for your life, I would take action on those things. I, Cause again, I feel like now is a lucky time for you and I would take advantage of that luck. You have the page of cups. It's like, I feel you are attracting a new person. There's something weird here because you have queen, of, king of swords and queen of swords. I do not like. Um, those two together to me represent like two people who do not see eye to eye. He, the King of Swords is facing forwards this way. The Queen of Swords is facing this way towards the future. So it's like you're attracting a new person. One thing I will say is she is coming up in the area of the good stuff. The other thing I will say is we'll see. We're going to, you know, the, the cards are rather positive around those two, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, clearly this could be your Ten of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles would really represent a person who puts, puts in the work. I, kind of like my gut instinct here is that, and not necessarily my intuition, and we're going to clarify right now, but um, you know, my intuition is kind of saying that maybe you see this person as a page of cups, but they're actually an emperor. So maybe either you or them is not seeing the other person as like an emperor or an empress. Like if that, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's almost like you see right now, you see this person as just a page and uh, let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm going to stop babbling because if I don't stop, I'll just keep going, right? Let's see. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, you have the Hangman. Yeah, like you've been thinking about doing something. This It's clear to me that the Queen of Wands is part of your journey in this reading and saying that you have a plan for your life. And the Hangman says you have all the knowledge and wisdom you need. The King of Swords and the Queen of Swords say you're very clear on your future uh, about like what you're trying to accomplish in your life. And I feel like the hangman is saying there's nothing more to learn. It's it, The next step is for you to take the first step on this journey. So whatever you're trying to accomplish, I would just get going. Uh, with the emperor, you have the king of cups. Yes. So, you know, this could be a water sign. It doesn't have to be. But I feel like this could be a very heart-based person. And maybe that's the difference here as well. It's like maybe this person lives from the heart. They don't necessarily... It's like maybe the choices they make are, seem weird. <laughs> you know, it's like sometimes I think heart-based people 
It's like they do things that most normal people wouldn't do because they live based off of what they feel, their heart, right? Most people try to make logical decisions in their life. So this person might be a little bit more unconventional or maybe they, they live life on their own terms. But I think that, you know, what's really important right now with the astrology is that we look at the evidence. So it doesn't matter if a person, if you think they live their life in a weird way, if they're very successful or if they have the proof to back up what they say, you know, like they, they actually do what they say they do. And so that's what I would pay attention to, especially if you're meeting someone new, is I would pay attention to, you know, what does, is their life a mess? If their life is a mess, then they're a mess. If their life looks together and actually they're successful or, you know, they're able to take care of themselves, um, then they're probably well put together. I think you need to trust that. Yeah, with the Page of Cups, you have the King of Pentacles. So this person's actually probably very grounded as well, or, um, you know, maybe they have a good handle on the things that they're doing. King of Pentacles, you know, on the positive side of things can be very established. The Ten of Pentacles here is the card of like an establishment. So it looks to me like this person is actually like very established. Uh, next, we are going to look at what's coming in for you. You have this illumination card and this openness card. I feel like you just have to be open to kind of like new insights in life and also enlightenment with the hangman. The hangman, ha again, has sacrificed movement so that he can gain enlightenment. And I feel like the universe is trying to guide you almost towards a ten of pentacles, which could be anything. And, and you just need to stay open to that. Uh, I would also say stay open to love. You know, again, stay open to a person who might be, who maybe you're not like sure about at first. Uh, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles here. Uh, again, Ten of Pentacles is like everything you want and desire in your life all at once. So there could be a very strong connection coming in or, you know, you could be working towards building and leaving a legacy. Again, everybody is. Um, we had all this energy in Taurus. We still have Uranus in Taurus. And I think that that Taurus energy wants everyone to create more freedom in their life. And a great way to do that is to build an establishment or to establish yourself in the world. And the Ten of Pentacles is all about establishing your dream. Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire in your life. So I think it would be an amazing time for you to start, you know, putting the building blocks in place to establish your dream, whatever that is, you know, whatever that looks like for you, I would start, you know, putting in the work to do that with the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, you have the King of Swords, you know, I here's the other thing as well. King of Swords can be like a little bit quiet as well. So again, you could be a attracting a person who is very quiet, but I actually feel like this is a good thing. You know how they say like, you know, people who like uh, that, that like claim they can fight, for example, they always lose fights because they like just bark the loudest. I feel like this person has no bark, but they don't need to have a bark. <laughs> I feel like this person, it's like th there is nothing for them to say because maybe the results speak for themselves, you know? And so maybe, yes, maybe you're attracting a person who like seems quiet or maybe they don't really talk a lot or something like that. Or maybe they don't really talk about their accomplishments, but it's because they don't need to because they actually have the things that they would say they have. Does that make sense? I don't know. But, you know, again, I get that feeling off of this King of Swords. It could be like a very reserved person or a person... It's like they don't need to say much because the things they do say are like important. You know, I, I kind of get that feeling off of the King of Swords. Uh, I also get something about going through a transformation. The King of Swords has these uh, butterflies here. The Queen of Swords also has a butterfly on her throne as well. I'll show you in a minute. And, you know, really, I feel like you could be undergoing some sort of transformation in your life. Uh, you also have the Eight of Pentacles. Mm, like, number one, I feel like if you're attracting a person, I feel like this person is, um, you know, like on this straight line. I feel like they are like working towards things in life and they do not, like they, maybe they are inflexible in the sense that they, when they set their mind to something, that's it. <laughs> so you could be attracting like a very driven person I get here, or you could be attracting a person who is kind of like one track mind, but not necessarily, like I'm not saying they're inflexible in a relationship, but I think in the things that they do, they are just like, boom, I'm doing this and I'm accomplishing it and that's it. So again, actually a very attractive trait. Uh, I feel like you are also kind of developing this focus where it's like you're, you're working on one thing, you're making it happen. And again, I think if you could, you can develop that if you don't have it. And, you know, again, I think that could be something um, that brings a lot of success in for you right now, uh, Sagittarius. So let's see what is going on here. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is teamwork. I, I feel like, again, if this is a person, they'll work on a team. I also feel that your results are starting to speak for themselves. 
The Three of Pentacles is a card of quality work, and it's also a card of displaying your quality. So a lot of you could be receiving recognition with the Sun, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles. You know, this is recognition for the hard work that you're doing in life. Uh, with the King of Swords, are you kidding? You have the Page of Cups, told you. I literally knew. It's like all this right here. This is like one person. You know, the other thing that's interesting to me is that, you know, this person, maybe they appear to be, you know, many things or multiple things <laughs> is kind of what I get here. It's like maybe this person like almost appears to be multiple people, but I, I kind of feel it's a very complex situation or a complex person that you're attracting into your life. Some of you might already be dealing with this person as well. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Hermit. Uh, so you have the Hermit twice. Uh, I feel like the Hermit is really encouraging you to open up to the world, like get out of the house, like I said. Um, the Eight of Pentacles would be focusing too much on work. So if you are focusing too much on work, it might be a good time for you to like make sure that you are uh, going out and having fun. Make sure you're doing the things that you love to do. Um, and a lot of people have had that this month. So, you know, it could be like a collective energy. People could be working too hard and not playing enough. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this card that says the answers you need are coming. There you go. You have this full moon in Capricorn. It says the end of a tough cycle approaches. So if you've been dealing with difficulties or um, challenges or anything else, I feel like you could be getting into a very good time here. Uh, you have the Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords, and Three of Cups. The Queen of Swords is about being very focused on the future. She's showing up in your last row there, and she's facing off into the future, uh, and she sees things clearly. So again, th you have that card that says the answers you need are coming, and you could be seeing things very clearly and because you're receiving answers on you know, the, the steps, your, your next steps, let's say that, right? I feel like you are seeing what your next steps need to be in your life, and this is leading to success. Uh, you have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is about something being dead, done, over with. But the Ten of Swords can also be a blessing in disguise. So I feel like there could definitely be a blessing in disguise or, you know, again, with the answers you need are coming, that could be saying that you went through something difficult and now you're finally seeing why you had to go through something that was difficult. It's almost like you're just seeing why you had to do something or why something had to happen. And I feel like you're getting the clarity on like why something didn't work out in your life. Uh, you have the Three of Cups. Uh, three of Cups would be a celebration or happiness coming in for you. So I feel like there could be like celebration or just a happiness coming in for you here with the Three of Cups. I would also encourage socializing. Again, it looks to me like maybe you're very focused on work. And so make sure that you're filling your fun bucket. Make sure you're you know going and having fun with people. I'm um, spending time with uh, people who matter to you, all that other good stuff. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, you have the Sun twice in this reading. Very good. <laughs> the Sun twice is very positive, makes the whole entire reading very positive. Uh, but you basically start and end with the Sun. And the Sun could say that there's a lot of clarity uh, coming in for you. Uh, with the Ten of Swords, you have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, again, so fortune's t turning in your favor. Again, this could be definitely be a blessing in disguise, having the Wheel of Fortune twice like this. It really just says the fortunes are turning in your favor after a difficult period of time. Uh, and with the three of, so three of Cups, you have the Page of Swords, sorry. Page of Swords is a card of curiosity. It's also a card of childlike energy. With the Three of Cups there, this would represent, uh, you know, being playful, having fun, uh, doing things that you enjoy doing. Uh, you have this fan card. It says romance, celebration, party. So you could be meeting a person by going to a party or having fun, socializing with friends, doing all those things. So I would encourage celebration, having more fun. You have this April card and then you have this dagger. It says fears, worries, tense situation. Maybe since the month of April, which was kind of like a tense month, uh, you could, it, it's like you're moving away from those feelings from the month of April. So I feel like things are improving or you're feeling more positive. You have this teapot card. It says deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So it could be a great month for you to meet new friends or again, just to spend time with people who matter to you. I feel like there could just be a lot of benefits in you know spending time with people who matter to you. You could be getting answers that you need. You could be getting guidance from these people as well. And so I would definitely pay attention to that. Uh, you have this Ram card that says a stubborn, aggressive person. I, I would, with the King and Queen of Swords, you know, those two butt heads. So if you do have people in your life that cause problems or, you know, get in the way or um, confuse you or whatever, I would definitely be very careful of those people because, again, it's just, it's saying this right here. <laughs> uh, also, 
We have Mars going retrograde in Leo this year. And Mars retrograde is like notorious for, you know, stubborn, aggressive people. So I would be careful of that. Uh, you have this bridge, it says successfully overcoming a problem. Uh, this could be tied to that blessing in disguise that we were talking about. So, and, and I think we said something over here about in, in the beginning about kind of like overcoming an obstacle or, you know, really taking control and making sure that you do overcome an obstacle uh, would be a good idea for you. But this is a really good reading here, Sag. I love where it's going. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.